Greetings, family. Let me first uh, thank Brother Ian Douglas for giving me this opportunity to say a few words on this wonderful day as we celebrate the Global Day of the Drum and paying reverence and tribute to Baba Alverno del Congo. Peace be on to him. I, I have so much to say, but I know it's just a short space of time I have to say this, but my experience in the drum began 1973 as I visit Guadeloupe as a boy scout. I was blessed in hearing the rhythms of those brothers in Guadeloupe while living in the mountains. Then again, 1975, when I went to Trinidad to play football for Trent's Youth Club. Hearing the brothers again in, in Trinidad like another fire. So when I went back to Barbados, this was 1975, a brother tell me, you should, be, you should go to this place. And they took me to Yorba Yard, Yorba Foundation. And it is there that I was introduced, introduced to another strength of drumming and a spiritual power coming out of, of Barbados, which I never, I, I, for some reason, I didn't know really was there, you know. But from that moment in being involved in the Yorba Yard, things changed in my life. I had a new understanding about the drum. I had a new awareness of my culture, my African heritage. I had a new light to be able to do something and to assist in that growth and development and the drum helped me to do that. Even though I didn't classify myself as a drummer and even to this day I still don't really, I see myself as a dancer that drums and I, I try my best to, to learn as much as I can learn so, so that as I teach the dance I, sh I would be able to teach the drum that goes with the dance that I'm teaching. It's very important to note that if you are going to teach anything, you could only teach what you know. So get to know as much as you can. Don't believe that you know it because there's no such thing. A belief is the absence of knowledge, so one should really try to know what you want to teach. Now, in developing my career or my life in the arts, Baba Alverno del Congo lay a foundation in me that I can never forget. He said to me, where drumming is concerned, it is not an individual thing. It's a body, it's a family, it's a village. A village of patterns put together that create a language of music that you have to know where you sit or where you fit within that village, where you fit, what is your place at the table as you play the drum. Where is your place? And if you, when you do find out your place, maintain your place, stay in your space because the person that is speaking needs to be heard and needs to be heard clearly and given the respect to speak. Now that make a lot of sense. Just like hearing a lot of drummers play together and then everybody want to be slapping and, and playing loud, which a lot of it has happened today. That's why I keep myself holy in that space where Alverna lit the light for me to see. And I keep that, I kept that. And that is something that I would always remember from my drum father. If you're gonna sit in a body of drummers, let the music be the focal point, not you, the individual. Baba Alverna del Congo, may you continue to rest peacefully and your spirit of the music rise in power. I say to all of you on this day, enjoy and continue to give strength and give life to the roots that was planted on that island of Barbados. Ashe. Okay.